Hello ladies and welcome back to Still Looking Good 58. I am Faith and today I am conducting a test. There have been a lot of wigs that have come out on the market, specifically human hair wigs from synthetic companies that are calling this new wig that's come out wet and wavy. Now we know that the wet and wavy is not a new thing, but what they are doing is they are saying that you can take the same one wig that they give you or that you purchase, you can make it curly or you can make it straight. So I decided to take them up on that offer and I picked up a Bobby Boss synthetic maker, a Bobby Boss human hair wig that is claiming to be able to do the straight and the curly with the same wig. Now you guys have seen a bunch of these. The one that I have is called Gabrielle and I have her in the color natural. Now this is a Metafresh cap and all of that stuff so there's nothing new there. Um, and it's unprocessed, 100% human hair it says. Doesn't tell you what kind, doesn't say it's Indian Remy, doesn't say it's Brazilian, doesn't say Malaysian, doesn't say anything like that. It just says it's an unprocessed 100% human hair wig. Now I have had Bobby Boss human hair wigs before, but they weren't making this claim of going from curly to straight and back again. Um, but I've seen a lot of this coming up lately, and so I wanted to try this. Um, so what I decided to do is I'm going to kind of show you from the unboxing all the way to the completion of this, and I'm just going to do a voiceover so that you guys can see what happens, see what the wig looked like and find out how I felt about it. So let's take a look. First here is the box that it came in and I'm just taking the paper out so that I can show you that it came straight first. And it's thick at the top but a little thin at the bottom and that was a concern right off the bat. Plus it was kind of, sh you know, uneven. Now I'm just showing you the part and the baby hairs and that's the top of the wig. It has um, a lace part two combs in the front and of course uh, a comb in the back. Now I washed it so that I could see if it was going to curl up and so far it looks like it's curling. So um, we'll see as we uh, continue this how well that works out. Okay so what I did is I washed it and put a little conditioner in it and put it on the mannequin head to dry. This is what it looked like after it dried. <laughs> it was kind of a hot mess <laughs> but yeah so that's the way it looked and so what I did was I kind of combed it out a little bit and I decided that um, I wanted to put some foam or something in it because I didn't put any foam or anything in it and so I thought okay well maybe if I just put some of my um, Orr's olive oil foam in it that'll work so here I am putting the foam in the hair just trying to get it through all the strands here. Yeah. And actually, after I um, finished putting this in here, as you're going to see in a second, it really looked um, better. It looked much better once I did that. So now I'm just plucking um, a little bit of those baby hairs because they were kind of thick, and I knew I wasn't going to use a lot of them anyway, so I just figured I'd pluck them. And this is what they looked like when I got finished. So this is what the hair looks like, ladies, once I was done. And uh, again, it's thick at the top, but I just, you know, I don't really like the fact that the ends are thin. Um, I'm going to show you the side, and I'm also going to show you what the hair looks like in the back. I'm not saying that it looks bad, but again, I just don't like that it's uneven and that um, it's thin down at the bottom. It just, I don't know, I just don't think that's a good look. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to make it straight. So what I'm doing here is I'm just separating the hair so that I can get it ready for the hot comb and the um, flat iron. So what I'm going to do is grab my Garnier Fructis Serum and I'm going to put just a little bit of that in the hair before I start putting some heat on it. So here what I try to do is I take a, a, a hot comb and I do the top first so that I can straighten it out because you can't really get the flat iron that far up. So I take the hot comb and I do it at the top first and uh, anywhere that's close to the scalp because yeah that flat iron just doesn't go all the way up to the top. 
So then I'm going to just kind of brush it out a little bit so that it's not tangly. And that's when I take my flat iron and start flattening out the hair. This particular wig is not good quality hair. And the reason you can tell is because I could not use this flat iron to smooth it out. I could not use the hot comb to smooth it out. I mean, it flattened it a little bit, but this hair looks just like mine when I need a relaxer. That's exactly what this hair looks like. And so that's what this hair needs. And am I gonna go and buy a relaxer to relax this hair? <laughs> Probably not. But, um, and again, it's uneven. As I mentioned to you earlier when I was showing you the curly one, the hair is uneven. It's thick at the top and thin at the bottom. And that is, the thick at the top, thin at the bottom density is, is a telltale sign of a cheap wig. Okay, usually cheap wigs are thick at the top and thin at the bottom. You can kind of see through them at the bottom. And that's what this wig is. This is, this is a cheap wig. I mean, granted, um, I think it retailed for like a hundred and uh, I'll put the information down. It's a hundred and something dollars, but I, I got her for 95 because they were, they were having a Black Friday sale and I thought I'm just going to get this because I want to see if it actually does this wet and wavy thing. And so you saw the curly and the curly looked fine to me, um, but it needs to be cut because it's got the thin pieces at the bottom and uneven pieces. This one, this, this girl needs to go to the salon. She really needs a relaxer. And I think once this hair got a relaxer, it would probably work well. Cut the ends off, put a relaxer in it, and you're probably going to be good to go. But right now, this hair looks just like my real hair does when I need a relaxer. Um, because the hot comb's not going to do nothing to it. Um, the flat iron, I had this flat on on 420. 420, and it looks like this. That's what I'm saying. It's not good quality hair. So, yeah, it needs a relaxer. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm probably not going to do that. But um, I just wanted to share this with you guys. I'm going to do an end, an out cue, you know, as we call it, an outro to this video. But I had to stop in the middle and show you this because, uh, yeah, it's a little frustrating. And that's another reason, as I said before, that you don't go to a synthetic company for a human hair wig. Don't do it. All right, so this is the finished product, and by finished product, what I mean is after you saw everything that I did to make it curly and make it straight, and you saw that it was thin at the bottom, I decided to chop it. So this is the result. I cut it off. I cut off those thin um, parts that you could kind of see through the hair. I wanted to keep the density thick, so I cut off the, the bottom part. And then I decided that it would be best to just wear it curly because I was certainly not going to put a relaxer in this wig. So let me show you what it looks like now. Here it is on the side. Here it is in the back. Nice and full. Here it is on the other side. So yeah. So I like it much better. It feels like it has a decent d density without all of that thin stuff at the bottom. Um, I like it better curly than straight, like I said, because I'm certainly not going to put a relaxer in this hair. And I just utilize a little bit of the baby hair in the front and on the side. You guys know I'm not a baby hair person. I'm still not really great at this. And they're moving as we speak, so yeah. And I did lay them down, but you know, hey, I'm not a baby hair person, so there you go. I'm just going to brush them out of the way because those didn't work very well. Maybe I'll try it again later. Natural Joy, where is your tutorial on baby hairs? <laughs> anyway, ladies, I think that it looks much better now. I like it. Let me give you some specs because I didn't really talk about the size of the wig and that kind of thing. I have a 22 inch head and my mannequin is also 22 inches. So when I put a wig on that mannequin, I can tell right away if it's going to be tight. And this wig is a tad bit snug. I would not say that it's really tight, but again, you guys saw my natural hair, which looks about like this. And my natural hair is growing and so I have it in a bun in the back instead of braiding it down. I still haven't braided it down. And because I haven't braided it down, there's a little, you know, pudge in the back. No, you know, a little big um, bunch part in the back. So taking that into consideration, this wig is probably going to fit me just fine with a 22 inch head um, once I braid this down. So again, I think it turned out much better now that I cut all of that thinness off of it. And again, girlfriend is not going to put a relaxer in this hair to make the straight look right because that it, it just isn't worth it to me. I mean, relaxers aren't that expensive, so I'm not saying that. You can go to the store and do it, but I'm not going to do it because um, I just prefer to wear it curly like this if I'm going to wear it at all. 
So yeah, and I like the fact that, I mean, it's a part, as you saw in the very beginning, it's a lace part. And so let me just tell you some, a real con of this wig. Besides the fact that it was thin at the bottom, like I told you, you may have noticed in the video, I was pointing to the top of my head. I can feel tracks here. And when you pull up the hair, I mean, it's like tracks are everywhere. When I was using the hot comb to try and lay some of it down, the hot comb was getting caught in the tracks at every turn. Um, so this is really not a good quality wig as far as the tracks go either. So again, like I said, because it was dense at the top and thin at the bottom, that is a telltale sign of an inexpensive or what I might call cheap wig. Um, let me go ahead and put some powder in this part because I don't think I've done that yet. And um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in, in trying a wig like this, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it and you just trying it. But um, I'm not a big fan of this going from curly to straight and that kind of business because I really don't, don't believe that. I mean, let's say that there was a real human hair wig company like, I don't know, Wow African. And let's say that they put out something like this. I would be more inclined to trust that their straight's going to look good and that their curl is going to look good than for a synthetic company that doesn't make human hair wigs as their first specialty. And Bobby Boss, I love you to death. I love your uh, synthetic wigs, but human hair is just not your thing. It just isn't. And I think that you should stick with what you do well and not try to do everything. Um, granted, I think this wig looks fine, you know, but if they're the big guns that are out there, if they're doing it right and granted, I can't say that they are because I have not tried one of these wet and wavy styles from a real human hair company, but I'm willing to bet that the quality of their hair is going to be better and that you'll be able to go from straight and curly with no problem. So anyway, again, if you guys are interested in this one, I only paid $95 for this wig. I think it retailed for like 130 something or something like that um, on the online sites. It's probably more in the store, but they were having one of those Black Friday sales and I went ahead and took advantage of it. So again, she's Gabrielle and this is the care card. So if you guys are interested in her, I will put the information down in the description section. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up as well as hit the notification and hit the subscription button. And ladies, as I always say, if you're going to show love to anyone today, please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good and of course, so are you. See you next time.